Today it's all about these bits in the glass and it's all about making your life easier when you are prepping enrichment toys on a regular basis as I do. So without any further ado, let's get started and see what's in the glass. Hello beautiful dog people and welcome back to the channel. My name is Stephanie and today we are talking about these bits, these bits and these bits. If you have watched any of my videos, you might have seen me use these on a regular basis already. And what they are is basically they are stoppers or stoppers or whatever you want to call them. So these would help you to stuff toys like a car. So I just got my my basket here with our toys. So we have everything in here. We have soda pop toys, we have the classic Kong toy, we have the toppers in here, and we also have the bigger toppers in here. So we have this one is from an English brand, the Enriching Paws. And they have the bigger size and the smaller size. And these ones are the ones from Soda Pop. So if you're in the States, you might want to go for these ones. And I'm happy to link them down below. So they work basically in the same way. And what it does is if you have a Kong, Loma Kong, and you want to stuff them, then if you pop them upside down, it will fall over. So if you add any of these stopper bits, basically the Kong stands. So it does no longer fall over. And this actually does work for different sizes. So this is, I think, the large Kong. So we also have the normal Kong. Same Yeah, this is now with a soda pub one works as well. Then we have this one. This is the extra large Kong. So again, we just take one, add this one in. I have taken the, the same size actually. And it works for the large one and the extra large one. So it does not fall over. I can push it. It does wobble a bit, but it doesn't fall over. So this will make your life way easier. To be honest with you, if you only have one dog and you only stuff one or two Kongs, you will be fine by just using a glass. If you have like me four dogs and you do this all the time, then this thing can make your life way easier. And especially if you have toys like this one, this is the Soda Pop um, Honey Bear. It's very cute, <laughs> but it can be a pain in the butt. If you try to stuff it, it will fall over. It will fall over and then I just basically popped it up and it just stood. So, <laughs> great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so, you know, it will fall over most likely if you move anything around. And sometimes, depending on what you fill it with, you do want to close this hole with something so it doesn't drip out. So, if you, for example, add in some liquid bits, then this would drip out. And you can also freeze them with this bit. So, you can pop it like this in your freezer and then basically keep it safe and keep everything in the toy without it dripping and making a mess in your freezer. So for you know any other toys this would work. Um, whether it's Kong, whether it's Soda Pop, they all have the same opening. If you have something like this, this is the um, Jack or Lantern from Soda Pop, then you'll find this basically stands and it's fine. But again, if you want to close the hole, just add something in here and you're good to go. Let's move them all to the side. Because now we talk topper. So with the topper, the little one I actually don't find too challenging. So the little one does move quite a bit too, but honestly, if I fill a little one, I never use any stoppers because I'm fine with them. Like, it, it's, you know, it doesn't bother me. It's easy to hold and it's easy to fill. There are some bits and pieces, especially if you're in the United States, they don't deliver sometimes to the UK where I'm based, but you can get really cute bits to add also into this hole, so to close it up. Um, again, happy to link you down below um, a shop I really really like and I really would like to get my hands on too because they have personalized ones so you can get them with your dog's name or something like spoiled or you know good girl or even like themed ones so they're really cute but this is what we're talking about today. So I pop this one back in here because we're not talking about this we're talking about these. So the bigger ones they do move quite a bit and if you fill them it can be sometimes a bit annoying also if you pop them in the freezer you want to secure them. So therefore we have these ones here. They are from the UK brand as well, Enriching Paws. And what it does is you basically pop this one on the on the table at the top it and it can no longer fall over. So it's really secure and it stands. Um, so again, if you do this regularly, I highly recommend that you get one of these to just make your life easier, avoid spit over or the topper to fall over, etc. Let's try. This is actually for the next video. So in the next video, we're going to talk about the topper extra large. But let's just try without being too spoily um, whether this would work for the extra large one too. And it does. Yeah, so it does. And honestly, these bits really can make your life so much easier. 
So yeah, this might be worth for you to give it a try, especially if you have loads of dogs or you do a lot of prepping for your enrichment bits. I already said it in the next video, we're going to talk about the Toppe Extra Large. So if you want to learn more about this one, this beauty I just got for Jason, then I will see you in the next video. I also have videos on how to fit a topper, etc. So please feel free to just hang out on my channel and have a look of what is around. And I will see you next time. Take care.